the sugarcane farmers are working for something valuable, a better future. Their aim is not just a better life for themselves and their families, but also to help take care of our environment. This waste from sugar canes will soon be converted into the source for an environment-friendly biofuel called ethanol. Today, India has got huge capacity of manufacturing ethanol. Ethanol is an absolute alcohol and biofuel. We have already started one bus which is running on 100% ethanol. Ethanol is a green fuel, pollution-free, cost-effective and import substitute. Bioethanol is already gaining popularity the world over. Ethanol is a sustainable, non-polluting, clean and affordable biofuel for transport vehicles with low emission. Bioethanol made out of waste from sugar canes is one of the best ways of procuring the most environment-friendly fuel available to the world today. At the same time, it is going to create new economy for our agriculture sector. Presently, agriculture crisis is a very challenging for our country. Lot of farmers' suicides are there. We, it is very difficult for government to give the appropriate prices for the food grains. In a situation, now today the technology is available that we can make ethanol not only from molasses or sugar cane juice, we can make ethanol from the cotton straw, wheat straw, rice straw, any agro waste, and also from bagasse. A future that is already here. With over 30 years of experience in bioethanol based engines, Scania is the only vehicle manufacturer that has successfully produced heavy vehicles like trucks and buses that run on ethanol based fuel. Scania is proud to be a part of a unique pilot project with Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Where 100% ethanol we can use as a fuel and as a transport minister, already we have sanctioned the all codification and standards for ethanol vehicles. So in our transport, particularly the bus service in the city area, we can use ethanol. This is an important step towards environment-friendly public transportation solutions in India. Nagpur Municipal Corporation's Scania bus is both environment and passenger friendly. I was approached by Pradna and this Harmony Safe Living initiative to talk a bit about Scania and what we are doing on sustainable transport solutions. But today I will talk a little bit more about what we are doing when it comes to facing the challenges we can see here in India when it comes to pollution and uh, also contribution, of course, to the global warming and, and the need of uh, replacing fossil fuels in the transport sector. India is clearly needing more public transport of all types, but I think buses is the main thing that will be possible to use to solve the congestion and the challenges in big Indian cities. And if you should run buses, you should, of course, try to run them on fuels that are uh, re renewable fuels that are good for the environment. One such project we are running in Nagpur in the center of India where we are now producing bioethanol uh, that, that's produced in the area. We will run buses on that starting in the later part of this year with 55 buses. Uh, later on we will also run on biogas, more buses, and, and biogas could be out of wastewater or food waste or any kind of biological substances that could uh, digest. So, so it's a very good concept. Uh, it's local waste that could be used for local fuel to do local transport. The response we have got from uh, the uh, city of Nagpur and the passengers on uh, the ethanol-driven city bus is fantastic. They say that this is something new in India, they are waiting for more bus buses, and that this can create a totally new city environment in the growing big cities of India. 
So the Nagpur project we see as, as a good starting point in India to show this principle that we can use biofuels, renewable fuels that reduces the CO2 contribution by 90% and that are on the highest possible emission levels used in Europe now and, and in some years in India also Euro 5, Euro 6 emission levels to clean up the local uh, pollution levels also. So biofuels as, as we see it is really a big contribution to solve that problem and in India for now we are working with three biofuels, it's ethanol, it's biogas and it's biodiesel. In the Nagpur project we are starting with ethanol that is reducing the CO2 emissions by 90% and is also on the highest possible emission standards so the local pollution levels are reduced significantly. So it could also increase the uh, possibilities for local farmers and local industries to be, produce fuel in India instead of importing expensive oil from other countries. At the same time we can make ethanol, from ethanol we can make bioplastic, the degradable plastic. Already in USA, the FDI USA uh, already make mandatory that for food atoms they have to use bioplastic. I feel that this is the future. So the agriculture waste and particularly the cotton straw, wheat straw, rice straw, if you can make ethanol from it, it can be used as a fuel. At the same time that ethanol we can use it for making bioplastic and that can be a revolutionary change in the country. It is cost effective, import substitute and at the same time pollution free. At the same time it is going to create more employment potential in the rural and agriculture sector and it will give a sustainable life for the farmers. This is the need of the country and it's a very revolutionary concept and as far as the environment is concerned I feel that this is very important. With our sustainable transport solutions, we promise to contribute to a sustainable future for India.